The Your Book, Your Voice podcast with host Robert A. Lane features everything you need to know about narrating your audio book, but it doesn't stop there. We have special guests lined up from all aspects of the book publishing industry, and we also dive deep into what it takes to be mentally prepared for success as an author and in life. So please welcome your host, Robert A. Lane. Hello, my friends. How you doing? This is Your Book, Your Voice. I'm your host, Robert A. Lane with Robert Lane Coaching. We are streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. Welcome. Glad you're here. Uh, if this is your first time uh, checking out the podcast, uh, let me just give you a quick background about who I am and what I do. I am an audiobook coach and producer, and I specialize in helping nonfiction authors take their published book to the next level. And how do you do that? by narrating your own audiobook. That's right, you as the author can narrate your own audiobook and in my audiobook coaching program, which is called Your Book, Your Voice, uh, we'll take you through every step of the, of the process to uh, set up your own recording space, to uh, do an awesome narration, be very compelling and engaging. And then we also talk about marketing strategies, how to uh, launch your audiobook, uh, do a big launch for it, uh, basically uh, similar to what you did when you launched your ebook, paperback, or hardcover. And uh, we again talk about marketing strategies and things that uh, you can do to um, utilize this great format of an audiobook to help you with growing your business as an author because you are a brand and your book is your product. Now, Here's our topic for today, simplifying the process of uh, creating your own audiobook. And we're gonna uh, divide this up into basically three steps. Uh, basically what I do in my audiobook coaching program, we're gonna just do overviews of uh, each uh, layer, which is setup and preparation, how to do a great voiceover, narration, uh, marketing strategies, and uh, audiobook launches. And of course, I will tell you uh, more about the Your Book, Your Voice audiobook coaching program, uh, how you can uh, sign up, how you can get your book recorded and be published on Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books. I call it the AAA. Uh, you need to be on those uh, distribution platforms because those are the most popular platforms uh, that people look for audiobooks. So you do need to uh, be on those three. And uh, again, we do talk about in the program, if you have uh, other uh, places that you wanna be distributed, we talk about that as well and figure out what the best strategy is for you to not only narrate your audiobook, but to get the most benefit out of it once you uh, bring it out there into the world. All right, so here you go. Step one, hire an audiobook coach. <laughs> I'm here for you. Step one. Uh, step two, go back to step one. Hire an audiobook coach. <laughs> now, I say that you know jokingly, but honestly, it does uh, help tremendously. Uh, I've hired coaches, uh, and I, matter of fact, I still work with uh, a couple of coaches right now for my business to help build it, to help scale it, and to uh, do things and learn things that uh, I don't know how to do or that I can improve on doing, which is why you hire a coach because they uh, can guide you through the process. And that's exactly what I do as an audiobook coach and producer. And that is to guide you so that you're not just left in the dark trying to figure it out on your own. And you have somebody that you can rely on who's your safety net, who's your accountability partner, and who is there for you every step of the way through the process. And uh, so it is really great to have somebody there that you can trust and that you can rely on, who has the experience to make sure that what you produce, your final product, is the absolute best that it can possibly be. And that's my goal as an audiobook coach and producer is to make sure that your product, your audiobook sounds fantastic. All right, that is the goal. And of course, uh, as your coach and producer, um, I provide you with the equipment that you need to set up your recording space. I teach you all the tools and techniques that you need to do for your audiobook, and uh, I'm there for you every step of the way. So, okay, 
yes, you can hire a coach. Now, matter of fact, uh, maybe we can throw up that graphic on how to book a call with me because that's how it all starts. Uh, you can uh, book a call with me. And when you book a call with me, we have a quick chat. We figure out what your goals are. And plus, I want, I want to find out, you know, I want to find out about your book anyway. Okay. So tell me about your book. Tell me what your goals are. And then we'll talk about your marketing strategies. And then all you need to do is book a call. So, you know, again, uh, there's a link that you can uh, book your call with. And that is uh, a, a bit.ly link, which is bit.ly forward slash audiobook onboarding. Uh, and we'll be putting up the graphic uh, throughout the program uh, for you to see. Uh, and those of you who are listening to it uh, who don't have the uh, video aspect of it, um, you know, when you go back to the replays, and I'll, I'll uh, mention that again about how to book a, a call with me, because that's how it starts. I want to talk to you first uh, before I enroll you in the program so that we can establish uh, a good business relationship. And uh, if you resonate with me and I resonate with you, then we're off to the races. So anyway, let's get into our topic. And I also want to mention, by the way, before we dive in, uh, if you have any questions uh, as we go along, uh, feel free to post them in the comments. I'll try to answer those questions as we go along. Uh, I'd love to hear from you and also love to hear about your book. If you're a published nonfiction author, tell me about your book. And if you don't have an audiobook, tell me why you, you have not made an audiobook out of it yet. You know, are there any barriers or things that you're worried about uh, or any of the uh, process or procedures on creating an audiobook stopping you? Uh, hopefully in this podcast, you will learn uh, how to simplify the process and that it really isn't as crazy and complicated as it may seem. Though having a coach, again, it really does help uh, in regards to guiding you through the process. So the first thing I do want to talk about is phase one, which is setup and preparation. Uh, there's, uh, you know, honestly, that's probably the the hardest, I would say, uh, aspect of doing an audiobook is the setup and preparation. And sometimes, you know, people just get frustrated and like, ah, oh, it just seems like too complicated. But, you know, again, it really isn't when you have somebody to guide you through it, it does make it a lot easy, a lot easier to get through the process. So uh, before we get into the uh, physical things uh, like uh, equipment and uh, setting up your account for publication and file management and all that stuff, the very first step that you need to do is make sure that you are in the right frame of mind to do your audiobook. You got to be in the right frame of mind because that's where it all starts. Mindset is key. You have to tap into the core reason of why you wrote your book in the first place, because that, that purpose, that reason, that drive, that uh, got you to write the book and publish it for the world to read in the first place is the same energy and the same purpose that you wanna tap into when you do your audiobook narration, because that energy has to come through. That energy that you brought to your book when you wrote your book is in the written word. It absolutely is. That's your style. That's your pace. That's your energy. Uh, that's your emotion. It's all in there. It's all in the written word. So you bring that to the table when you do your audiobook narration. That's the first step, is getting into the right mindset. And that is actually the first uh, lesson, and I have a video lesson in my uh, program, that uh, that's the first thing my author clients do, is do a mindset exercise. So they get grounded, so they get focused, so that they are in the present moment, and they are ready to do their audiobook. They are mentally prepared. They tapped into that energy. They tapped into the emotion and the feeling of uh, uh, why they wrote the book in the first place. And you as a nonfiction author, you tap into that energy. You tap into that focus. I can't stress that enough because it really does come through in your audiobook narration. Those intangibles, and I'm going to be talking a little bit more about it uh, in the next segment because we're going to dive into the how-tos of doing a great audiobook narration and what you need to do. But the intangibles, those things that you can't physically touch, but the things that you can feel, are so important and are so crucial in uh, expressing what you need to express in your audiobook narration. 
it's funny, I was talking uh, to another podcast host, I was on another podcast and we were talking about uh, the authors who have uh, narrated their own audio book. And he said, hey, you know, do you have any clips? And I said, absolutely. Uh, I have clips on my website. So if you go to robertlanecoaching.com, uh, and if you scroll on, the, on my homepage, uh, you'll see it there and you have a link there for you on the screen. Uh, check it out because I have a, a few of my clients' uh, samples on there. And when he listened to that, he was like, you know, and, and this guy who's been working in radio for years and years and years, he, um, he was really impressed. He's like, you know what, these, these authors sound like professional narrators. And I loved hearing that from him, hearing that from somebody who uh, has that experience of working in radio and it, like deals with voiceover all the time and was really impressed with how the authors sounded. So don't let your voice or anything like that stop you from doing an audiobook because you do have a great voice and that's all part of it. Uh, I'll get more into detail about that later, but I do want to really focus on the setup and preparation right now. So, um, but again, that is the intangibles of why you wrote your book in the first place is what you bring to the table. So getting into that mindset, getting into that focus is key and that's number one. So when it comes to setting up your own recording space, you can definitely do it. You can do it in your office. You can do it uh, in your bedroom. I had a guy set up his recording space uh, in his closet because he thought, you know what? I got my clothes hanging here. Uh, it's going to sound great. And you know what? He was comfortable and comfortable is key. And that is the one thing that I do want to mention is that being comfortable and having a quiet space for you to be able to focus is key, is key because you wanna be comfortable and you wanna have uh, focus. You don't wanna be distracted. So when you set up your recording space, pick an area where you, you won't be disturbed and you feel very comfortable. Because when you're very comfortable, that does again come through in your audiobook narration. Now I mentioned uh, a little bit earlier about my uh, audiobook coaching program. Part of the program is I do provide the equipment, the professional equipment that you would need to set up your recording studio. And that includes a microphone, it includes professional headphones, it includes a sound isolation screen you wrap around your microphone, a pop filter. We go over the program uh, that you will be using to record your audiobook. So everything is provided for you. So it makes it a lot easier for you to set up your space because you're going to set up your own recording space. And this is really crucial because you're not bound by having to find a studio, book time, sometimes it costs 100 bucks, 200 bucks, even more, depending on what studio you, you, that you go to, to do your uh, recording, if you were gonna record it in an, a, a studio, but then you're working on their timeline. And that puts a lot of pressure on having you do a great narration. You know, maybe you're struggling with, on a particular chapter. Maybe for some reason it's just difficult. You know, and, and, you're, and you're looking at the clock. You're like, okay, I gotta, I got to get this done. And what happens is that it doesn't allow you to do a great narration because you're not comfortable. You're feeling pressured. And a pressured narration is not going to be a great narration. It's going to sound rushed and it's not going to sound natural. And it's going to take away your uniqueness because you're worried about, you know, getting your, your audiobook done on time. So setting up your own recording space is great because you can allocate the time that works best for you. And one of the things that I do with my clients, of course, is say, when are you recording your audiobook? I want to know the day and the time that you're doing it. And I say, you know what, even if you just um, allocate a, an hour a day, you can get your book done in time for sure. All right. So getting your uh, recording space set up, feeling comfortable and uh, setting up a non-negotiable time to do your recording is key. And that's all part of the setup and preparation. There are a couple of other things that I do want to go over. Uh, we're going to have to take a quick break, but uh, I do want to hit on um, setting up your uh, account for publication because that is part of it. Uh, but also really important is file management. And I want to touch on that a little bit uh, after we take a break. All right. So you are tuned in to your book, Your Voice. I'm your host, Robert A. Lane with Robert Lane Coaching. We are streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. After this break, we're gonna to touch on a couple more things to do set up a preparation. And then we're gonna dive into the art of audiobook 
narration and how to do a great narration. So stay tuned. Don't go away. We'll be right back. What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy sense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them. We discover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. All right, welcome back to Your Book, Your Voice. I'm your host, Robert A. Lane, with Robert Lane Coaching. We're streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, our topic today is uh, simplifying the process of creating your own audiobook. And we had talked about uh, setup and preparation and how important that is, uh, mindset, having your equipment set up. A couple more things that I do want to touch on uh, before we move into the art of doing a great audiobook narration. Uh, and uh, one of them is uh, setting up your uh, publishing account to get on Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books. Uh, again, I have video modules in my uh, program, which is called Your Book, Your Voice, uh, my audiobook coaching program. That does take you step by step on how to do all this. So it, it takes the hassle and confusion out of it. I know a lot of people, uh, a lot of authors who, who've tried to set it up on their own and they, they look at the site and they're like, oh, wow, man, there's just, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot to do. But to simplify it, and to make it really easy for you uh, in the program, I'm very methodical uh, with your uh, setting up your equipment and with setting up your account for publication. Very methodical, so it makes a lot of sense and it's really easy for you to get that set up. And the other thing that I do want to touch on uh, is file management and how important it is to make sure that when you're recording your audiobook, that you're uh, filing and naming your audio files properly so that you will not lose them. File management is so important. Uh, and uh, in case uh, you aren't familiar with the process of recording an audiobook, uh, you don't just hit record and just, you know, grab your book and you just start reading and reading and reading and narrating and narrating and narrating and going on and on, on and on. The way it works is that your book is divided up into separate audio files. So every piece of your audiobook is a separate audio file. So, for example, uh, in my book, Lights Action You, uh, I published this book, that is a self published book, and uh, I did an audiobook out of this, of course. And it's divided up into sections when you record. So, opening credits, which would include your title, your subtitle, who it's narrated by, and uh, who the author is. And um, there are other things that you can put into your opening credits, but that would be one audio file. If you have a dedication, that is a separate audio file. If you have an introduction or forward or anything that's in the front part of your book, which we call front matter, um, all those things can be separate tracks, separate audio files. Then you get into the chapters. 
My book has 14 chapters. So right there is 14 uh, separate audio files. And that's how you record it. Then uh, for the back matter, you have acknowledgments or maybe you have uh, uh, information about your coaching program or, or things that uh, the, the reader uh, can uh, get, like maybe bonus materials or, or anything that you want to talk about. Those are also separate audio tracks. And then, of course, you have your end credits as well. So an audiobook can actually be broken up into maybe 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 maybe, <laughs> depending on how big your book and how long your book is, um, uh, audio files. So that sounds like a lot, and it may sound overwhelming, but honestly, it really isn't. And it actually takes the recording process uh, to be much easier. And it does simplify the process because you just worry about one section at a time. And it makes it a lot easier for you to get organized. So part of the setup and preparation is mapping out your book. And when you uh, go to ACX, which is where you set up your publishing account for Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books, you will label everything, every, every audio file that you're going to be doing, you will label it in there, and uh, you will announce what track it is when you do your recording and then do your book. So, for example, uh, I would say, um, you know, chapter one, the eyes have it, and then you pause and then you go in and do your uh, narration and continue on with your chapter. And then that way, your listener knows the audio file that they're listening to and or the chapter that they're listening to. And of course, the listener's not gonna need to know like how many audio files or how you created the how-tos is all the behind the scenes stuff, but it's a lot easier for them to find each section of the book. And of course, you know, let's say someone wanted to jump to chapter three or chapter 10 or listen to an, another section of the book, it's a lot easier for them to find those sections when you have everything recorded as separate audio files. So making sure that you name your uh, audio files properly and you put them in folders and you uh, store them uh, in a safe place and you back up your audio files, you gotta back them up because you gotta have a, a safety net there. Now, of course, uh, if you're working with me and as your audiobook coach and producer, I archive all your files for you anyway, so uh, I do have everything and I do save them uh, from all the clients that I've, that I've worked with as a just in case, because hey, you know, if your computer crashes and your hard drive that you were backing it up to crashes as well, uh, at least you can uh, get back in touch with me and say, hey, you know, can you send those audio files over again? Because I had a, a major, major accident with my computer and I lost my audio files. So I can help you there as well. But uh, naming your files is something that we go over in my audiobook coaching program. I have a very specific naming convention, which makes it a lot easier for you to know what they are. And of course, it makes it a lot easier for me to know what you're sending me because as your audiobook coach and producer, I do all the editing for you to make sure that your audio files sound great and that they meet the exact specifications for publication so that your audiobook won't get rejected. And uh, of course, I guarantee 100% that your audiobook will not get rejected since I'm the one who does all the editing for you. And I will upload all your audio files for publication for you so you don't have to worry about that aspect of it. So if there ever is any type of issue, I'll know about it right away. I can fix it right away, re-upload it, and know that everything is 100% fine. So when your audiobook is done, and you're ready to publish, you click the I'm done button and it goes up to uh, publication. And after its final review, it takes about 10 days or so for it to go live. Your book is live, your audiobook is done, and the world can now hear you narrate your own audiobook. So <clears throat> now you're ready to narrate, right? Now you are ready to do a great audiobook narration. So, what is the first thing you need to do? We're coming back to mindset, being in the right frame of mind and putting yourself in the present moment so that you are ready when you hit that record button to do a great audiobook narration. Mindset is key. And again, like I mentioned before, putting yourself in the right frame of mind means bringing up the emotion, bringing up your purpose, getting to that core reason of why you wrote your book in the first place, okay? And 
tapping into that energy because that energy is what is going to make your audiobook sound great. And that energy is what makes you, you. <laughs> okay. That's why it's so important that you uh, narrate your own audiobook um, <clears throat> and not having another narrator do it, especially for a nonfiction book. You've written this fantastic book. All right. Uh, and maybe you're a coach, or maybe you're a teacher or, or an educator. And maybe you have a coaching program and your book is about your coaching program. And maybe it shares uh, some of the tools and techniques that you teach in your program. And you're using your book uh, as really a calling card to get people to, to work with you. It only makes sense for you to do the narration because it's your program. It's your story. Even if you uh, don't have a coaching program, it's your story. Only you can tell your story the way you intended to be heard. Only you can interpret the story the way you want it to be interpreted. Because another narrator is going to interpret it be the way that, that you would have said it. You know, and, and not saying that the other narrators are bad, that they're great. I know a lot of great narrators, uh, professional voiceovers who are just fantastic. But as a nonfiction author, it's your story. And that's, it's personal. It's personal to you. And that, that, again, intangible, that, that personal, that intangible is what makes it so unique. And that's what you want to bring forward in your audiobook narration. That's why you narrate your own audiobook, because no one can replicate you. AI sure can't replicate you. There's no way. All right. <laughs> it's, it's you. you. You are the author, your unique style and how you presented your story when you wrote your book is how you're going to express it. And I've talked to uh, a lot of people who listen to audiobooks, and there's a higher percentage of people who would rather hear the author narrate their own audiobook because that makes it more personal. And when you do narrate your own audiobook, you immediately establish an intimate connection with your listener because they feel like you're talking directly to them. And that is such a great connection. They feel your emotion. They feel your energy. And it may be subtle, but it comes through in your voice. It, it really does. And that's why when you tap into the core reason of why you wrote your book and tap into the excitement and energy when you published your book, and now you're gonna do an audiobook, you bring that same energy to your narration. Intangibles are the key to doing an awesome narration. It's the intangibles that make you sound like a professional narrator. When that uh, uh, podcast host was saying how, how wow, these, these, these authors sound like professional narrators, that's why. Because every author that I've worked with, I'm, I'm so incredibly proud of the work that they did because they sound so fantastic because they brought that intangible, they brought the energy, those things that you can't physically touch, but you can feel. That's what takes a mediocre audiobook to a, a top-notch professional audiobook. And you do have the voice to do it. So mindset is key. You have to believe in yourself, own your voice, love your voice, know you have what it takes to do a great audiobook narration. Intangibles are key, that is so important. Now, once you are in the right frame of mind and you're ready to go, there's, of course, the practical aspects of doing an audiobook narration. And number one is hydration. Make sure you're hydrated. Make sure that uh, your mouth is hydrated because a lot of uh, mouth noises are the result of not being hydrated. And you don't want those sounds in your audiobook. You don't want to hear you know, clicks and lip smacks and all sorts of mouth noises, that's distracting to the listener. Now, of course, when you work with me in the Your Book, Your Voice audiobook coaching program, you send the files to me. If I hear things that uh, I find are distracting, and even if it's something that probably uh, the you know general public wouldn't even notice, I notice because I treat your book as if it was my own and I'm going to find those things and I'm going to you know, take anything that I feel doesn't belong there and remove them from your uh, audio file so that it sounds great. Okay. And so 
the hydration is just really important. Another physical aspect that will help you do a, a better narration is posture. Standing in good postural form, whether you're standing or you're sitting, you want your feet flat on the ground, you want to keep your feet roughly shoulder width, and you want to sit up straight and have good posture because good posture will allow a great delivery and you will sound better because you can breathe in the air and breathe it out and not be hunched over. You know, it's just like a, a singer, right? Having good posture so that uh, they can breathe in and sing that note. You are breathing in and you are saying that narration. It all makes 100% uh, sense. It's a great analogy thinking of your audiobook narration like a singer. So posture is great, having good posture, and of course, again, staying hydrated. Another thing, like I mentioned in the setup and preparation, is having a quiet space. And if you are ready to record and uh, you have other people that are in the house or place where you, you are living, tell them, okay, hey, you know what? I'm recording my audiobook. Uh, I need time. You know, give me an hour. I don't want to be disturbed. And be focused. Don't allow any distractions. Okay, you want your nice, quiet, comfortable space. No distractions. Take that cell phone and toss it away. Okay, you don't want that to be a distraction as well because you're going to focus on your narration and just doing a great narration. I have a couple more things that I do want to share with you in regards to uh, the practical aspects of doing an audiobook narration, uh, but we do have to take a quick break. I'll get back to that. And then we're going to also talk about uh, marketing strategies and things that you want to do uh, with your audiobook. And uh, I'll give you a little more behind the scenes of what it takes to uh, uh, do a great narration. All right. So this is Your Book, Your Voice. I am your host, Robert A. Lane with Robert Lane Coaching. Uh, we are streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. I do appreciate you being here. Again, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments. I'll try to answer those questions as we go along. Uh, and uh, we will be back. Don't go away. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality? But it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating. Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside, you know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. And welcome back to Your Book, Your Voice. I'm Robert A. Lane with Robert Lane Coaching. We are streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. Again, our topic today is simplifying the process of creating your own audiobook. And we've talked about setup and preparation and mindset aspect. Again, mindset is so important. I uh, can't stress that enough on how being in the right frame of mind before you hit that record button is crucial. Uh, there are a couple things that I do want to uh, that I did want to share with you 
uh, regarding uh, some more practical techniques in regards to uh, when you do your narration. Uh, one thing that I do want to mention is that when you are recording your audiobook, and like I said earlier, uh, it is done in sections. Uh, you don't record the whole book in one, you know, one shot. You are recording your book in separate sections. Um, I highly recommend, and I tell this to my uh, author clients, to just do it in linear fashion because it just makes better sense for you as the author to just record it in the order that you actually wrote your book because it helps with not only your narration but with the flow because you want to be you want to have a good flow with your narration and you want to be consistent and when we talk about consistency it's more than just um, the flow and the pace but it also involves uh, your volume how loud you're speaking and making sure that your levels, your audio levels are consistent from opening credits to closing credits. Because you want to have your, uh, your listener so engaged in your book on the edge of their seat from opening credits to closing credits, 100%. So I wanted just to show you something. Um, this, by the way, this is uh, the microphone that I do send you. It's a professional uh, microphone uh, that I do send to the clients when you enroll in the uh, Your Book, Your Voice audiobook coaching program. But I just wanted to demonstrate in regards to mic placement. When you set up your studio, um, when you, I'll stand this way so you can see, you really want to be maybe, you know, this close to your mic. Now, you will have a sound isolation uh, screen around the microphone. But just as, as, a, as a reference, you're not this close. This is too close to the mic. You're not this far away. You're too far away from the mic. You're going to be roughly about here. Okay, and when you have your sound isolation screen around the microphone, you also have a, a pop filter. So it'll help um, keep you from popping the mic, meaning consonants like, uh, I mean, they're called plosives, like P, B. Hey, those consonants are strong and those consonants can pop a mic and that's when you know it sounds bad where you hear that Pah! and that's that's not a good sign so you don't want to have that in your audiobook but when you have your mic placement make sure that that when you're listening on your headphones okay if you're listening on your headphones you you you're seeing okay this is where i'm setting my mic this is where it sounds great it sounds good in here you know and then you're looking at your your audio levels i see that that they're the, the levels are good, my mic placement is good, everything sounds great in the headphones, you lock that into your brain. And then when you record, you know where you need to stand, you know what your distance is, you know what it sounds like, you know what the levels look like, and you're good to go. And that's gonna help you with consistency uh, and making sure that you sound great from beginning to end. Now, of course, energy, right, the intangibles, that is very, very important that has to be consistent as well. So if your energy is too low, when you record, let's say the following day, let's say, oh, I did chapter three, I'm gonna do chapter four now, and maybe you're off a little bit. You can always go back and listen to what you've already recorded to get refocused and go, oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's where, where I need to be. That's the energy I wanna be. That's the emotion I need to be at. Then you're ready to record. So you have that as reference as well. And that's why, again, as I suggest to my authors to record in linear fashion, because you can just maintain consistency with the energy that you're putting into your audiobook. So that's another thing that's really, really important. So basically, just to summarize some of the uh, tools and tips. Oh, by the way, before I forget, and I always forget to do this, and I want to tell you, I have a free audiobook narration reference guide. And uh, this is free for you to download. Check it out. Take a screen grab if you want of the, uh, of the, the website link. Uh, you can also go to robertlandcoaching.com. It's there on my homepage as well. But uh, click on that link. Grab your free audiobook narration. Uh, uh, it's a reference guide. And it uh, lays out some of the tools and techniques that I've talked about uh, today. And it's just great to have. You know, it's just great to have this reference there uh, and you have it with you and you can always use it and uh, it'll help you stay focused and go, oh yeah, you know what, my posture, yeah, my posture is not so good today. I forgot about that. Or, wow, I, hadn't, I have not 
had enough water today. Let me drink some water and get some, you know, get my hydration. Uh, so there, there's a lot of things that are uh, on that uh, on that handout, that PDF. Download it. It's free. It's my gift to you uh, to help you with your audiobook narration. All right. So um, again, tools and techniques. The intangibles are important when it comes to your narration. The uh, physical and practical techniques, obviously, are important to doing a great audiobook narration. And like I mentioned about uh, setup and preparation, file management is key, uh, and uh, getting yourself in a nice, quiet recording space is key as well. Now, I do want to say when you are recording, if you're having issues or if it's a struggle for, you know, sometimes you're just off. <laughs> it happens. And maybe you're struggling through a chapter and it's starting to get frustrating. If you are getting frustrated, if you're getting fatigued, just take a break. Just stop what you're doing. Step away. <laughs> take a break. And then you can come back to it. Maybe you need to just go outside get some fresh air, maybe walk around the block, whatever you need to do to get refocused and regrounded, then you can go back and record. Or maybe, you know, sometimes you have a bad day and, it's, and you, you, you want to record, but things are just not in alignment, right? You can't get in your zone. It's okay. It happens. Just take the day off and then just get back to it the next day. Don't force yourself to plow through it. And this is why it is so great to set up your own recording space when you do your audiobook narration, because you're doing it on your time. You're doing it when you're ready and when you are in the right frame of mind. When you have to go to a studio, sometimes you're just not in the right frame of mind. And then you're pressured, as I mentioned earlier, you're pressured to try to, you know, get this audiobook out and, you know, and, and do this narration. And, and I only have, you know, two hours of studio time and, and I'm falling behind and, and the engineer is, you know, is making me feel pressured. Uh, it's not a good situation. That's why it's so great to have your own recording space and recording it when you are ready to do a great narration and not feeling that type of pressure. Because when you're pressured, you're not going to do a great narration, and it comes through. Uh, another thing that you can do when you are doing your audiobook narration is, and it does help with the energy, is smile. Now, if you're doing something that's very depressing, okay, well, maybe smiling is not the, not the best thing, but what you are bringing to the table is the energy. So if you're talking about something in your book that is very serious, you can still bring that emotion across, and that will... Uh, come through, and it may be subtle, but it does come through in your narration. And the, and the listener is going to feel it. They're going to feel your emotion. They're going to feel your energy. They're going to feel your excitement. They're going to feel your smile. However you're doing your narration, it's going to come through in your voice. And they hear it. Remember, that's that intangible. And that's what takes that audiobook from being mediocre to being fan freaking tastic okay? So again, bringing those intangibles in are so very important. Now, once you record your audiobook, if you are working with me in the Your Book, Your Voice audiobook coaching program, the way it works is that you're sending your audio files to me as you record them. So if you've recorded, I've done chapters one and two, great. You send them to me, and then as your uh, producer and editor, that's where I start my work behind the scenes, which you don't have to worry about. And I uh, make sure, again, that everything sounds great and that your uh, audio is sounding not only great, but that it matches and meets the exact specifications for publication for Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books. Now, during this time, um, you can be planning your launch. You should be doing an audiobook launch. You need to create excitement about this book, whether you just published it, or maybe it's an audiobook, or, or you're turning a book into an audiobook of something that you wrote a few years ago. It doesn't matter. As a matter of fact, I highly encourage you to take a book that you've already published. If it's not an audiobook form, turn it into an audiobook. 
I was just talking to another author uh, the other day who has a book that uh, she released in 2019. Doesn't matter. Don't let your book die on the vine. Let's bring it back to life. And turning it into an audiobook is such a great way to resurrect that book and to get it out there again. And you know what? It's going to create a new revenue stream for you. It'll also create uh, excitement for your book, whether it's ebook or paperback or hardcover. And now you're going to be doing this great launch of, of your audiobook, which is another format that, again, the audiobook world is growing and expanding at an exponential rate. You need to be part of it because I'm telling you, people ask for audiobooks first before they even look for an ebook, paperback, or hardcover. I see it happening all the time. I have people, and uh, this is important I have people asking for audiobooks by brand name. So they say, Hey, are you on Audible? Can I get your book on Apple? Oh, is your book on Amazon? So they're, they're asking for the book by brand. They're not just saying, hey, do you have an audiobook? And that's becoming more commonplace. So that's why it's so important to be on the AAA, which is Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books, which is what I get you published on. So it is really, really important that you are on, on all those uh, platforms, those distribution platforms. Now, there are other distribution platforms that you can be on, which is great. And if that works as part of your marketing strategy, then definitely put your book on those uh, platforms as well. And this is uh, part of what we talk about when we first have our initial consultation of what is it that you want to do with your book? What are your goals? And you know, distribution is, is part of it that we do talk about before I get you enrolled. So when you, again, for the setup and preparation, you would have already mapped out what your plan is for your audiobook. So now it's time, when I'm working on your book and doing all the editing and all the post-production on your audio, you should be promoting your book. You should be putting it out there on social media. You should be taking your followers and your fans and your readers along the journey of you creating your audiobook because that's exciting. I love you know, being part of the uh, behind the scenes of what it was taking to create an album or create a book or, you know, the creative process is exciting. And when you and when you allow yourself to take your fans and your followers and your readers along that journey with you, it's great and they love it. So those are things that you should be doing while uh, you're waiting for your book uh, being edited and uploaded for publication. So it's just really, really important that you promote yourself and that you uh, put together a launch team uh, to help you promote your book. I'm going to touch on that uh, a little bit more, but I do want to dive into the Your Book, Your Voice audiobook coaching program and give you a little more detail about what that is and what it's about uh, after we uh, take this uh, final break. So uh, don't go, boy. A lot of great information coming your way. Uh, you are listening to Your Book, Your Voice. Uh, I am your host, Robert A. Lane. You are listening to us on the Bold Brave TV network. Appreciate you being here. Don't go away. What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy sense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book coached to greatness unlock your full potential with limitless growth 
published by iUniverse. Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them. We discover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. That's my ELP reference. Uh, you are listening to Your Book, Your Voice. I'm your host, Robert A. Lane with Robert Lane Coaching. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. And uh, I, just one more thing that I wanted to touch on in regards to uh, your marketing strategies is that you need to uh, do a launch party. Prepare a launch party for your audiobook. Uh, once it gets published, it should be a big event and let your fans, your followers, your readers, and now your listeners uh, know that you've got, you have this great book out there and that you are now offering your, your fantastic nonfiction book as an ebook and a paperback and maybe a hardcover as well, and now an audiobook. You have all these formats, so you're giving your fans and your readers and listeners a choice. They have a choice to either read your book or listen to your book, or they get your audio book and they also get your, your ebook, paperback, and hardcover because they like to listen to it and read along. And the beauty of it is that it's in your voice. You, the author, are narrating your own audio book. So your listener and reader get to hear you tell your story. And again, it is the way you want it to be told because it's in your unique voice and your unique style. Now, I do want to touch on the Your Book, Your Voice audiobook coaching program. That's what I do uh, as an audiobook coach and producer, and I have this uh, program. It is a six-week intensive that goes through the process of setup and preparation, of uh, teaching you the fine art of voiceover, and helping you with your marketing strategies when you launch your audiobook. And that's what the program is all about. So the first step for you as an author, if you're considering... Uh, turning your book into an audiobook and you like to narrate it, you book a call with me. It's a simple step because I want to talk with you first. Uh, and we're going to put up a, a graphic so that you can see about booking a call. Take a screen grab of that and schedule a call with me because I want to talk with you. What happens on this initial call? It's an audiobook consultation call. And I want to know about, about your book. Tell me about your book and uh, what inspired you to write it. And uh, I also want to find out what your marketing plans, what your goals are with your book, uh, why you uh, maybe have not done your audiobook yet and why you feel this is the right time to do it. Um, and then we dive into uh, uh, the details of what the audiobook coaching program that I teach, uh, what it offers and how you can get your book published on the AAA, Audiobook, Animal, Amazon, and Apple Books in six weeks. So again, the first part is set up and preparation. Like I mentioned before, I send you the equipment that you need. You don't have to worry like, I got to get a mic. I got to get a, a, a pop filter. I got to get this. I got to get that. It's all provided for you in the program. Okay. I send the mic to you. Uh, again, this, this is a great mic. Uh, by a reputable company. Rode is a great company. They make great microphones. Uh, it sounds fantastic. A lot of podcasters use it. Voiceover people use it. That's what I send you. Professional headphones I send to you. Um, pop filter and a sound isolation screen for the microphone I send to you. All that equipment is yours to keep forever. You don't send it back to me. It's part of the program. It's yours to keep. The next step, of course, is teaching you the fine art of voiceover and narration. Now remember, I'm with you every step of the way as your coach to make sure that you are doing a great job. Matter of fact, you even send me a sample before I give you the green light to start recording your audiobook because I want to hear it first. And as your producer, I listen to every 
aspect of your recording. I listen to things that are happening in between the words, in between the phrases, the silence, the ambience, anything that can be a distraction uh, to your audiobook. And if it sounds great, you get the green light to continue on. If there are any issues, I tell you about it, we address them, and you send me another sample so I can hear it. Sounds great, green light, you record your book. And uh, again, I take my uh, 20 plus years experience of being an audio editor. When you send your files to me, because once you record them, you send them to me, I edit everything for you. You don't have to find an editor. You don't have to do any of that. It's all taken care of for you in the program. I make sure your files sound fantastic. They are to the exact specifications. Once your file is sounding great and it's ready to go, I do the uploading for you. I get it uploaded for publication into Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books. You don't have to worry about it. So if there ever is any type of issue with your file, I know about it right away. I can fix it and it's done. And it's uploaded and it's good to go. And by the end of the six week program, your audiobook is recorded and uploaded and ready for publication. Sometimes I have authors, they're fast, you know, and they send me files really fast and I get them back and done that by the end of the six week program, their book is live. Their audiobook is already live. Now, I do say you want to plan a launch. So what I suggest to my authors is, you know, pick a launch date uh, that, uh, you know, maybe a few days after your book is live so that you know it's up there and it's ready to go and you can do a big promotion for it. Uh, but all this is provided for you, your equipment, all the editing, the uploading, it's all provided for you in the audiobook coaching program. So the only thing that you need to do to get started is just book a call. Just book a call with me. You can go and check out Robert Lane Coaching. Uh, robertlanecoaching.com is my website. There are samples from authors that I've already worked with. Uh, you can hear their uh, clips for their audiobook. Uh, there are uh, details about the program itself, and I would just love to talk with you. So that's, that's all you need to do is just schedule your call. And you know what? Some of the best times to record your audiobook are uh, during spring break, uh, during a holiday. Uh, you know, there are so many, many uh, times where you have some downtime. Or maybe you're working on your on your business, or you're you're uh, writing your next book. You can still record your audiobook and get it done in time. So don't let time be a barrier. Don't let thinking it's too much hassle to make an audiobook. That's that, don't let that be a barrier. And especially don't think that you don't have the voice to narrate your own audiobook because that is a false belief, and we crush that immediately because you do have a great voice because that great voice of yours is what makes you so unique and you do want your voice to be narrating your own audiobook so that you tell your story the way you meant it to be heard and to be told and only you as the author can do it so book that call go to robertlanecoaching.com and schedule a call with me it's my calendar link I'd love to, to speak with you. And uh, again, I talk to every client before I enroll them because I want to establish a, a good business relationship with you. And then we get you enrolled, you get your audio book done, and you are a rock star. <laughs> I guarantee it. And you will be uh, published 100% guaranteed. I do not take any percentage of your audiobook sales. It's yours 100%. I don't believe in that. It is yours. I don't want to take any residuals away from you. You you hire me to be your coach and your producer, and that's what I do for you. All right. So book that call, robertlanecoaching.com. All right. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Your assignment is when you're out and about, smile at a stranger, say hello to them, give them a compliment. It takes five or ten seconds out of your time. But that small gesture of kindness can really make somebody's day. So with that, be good humans. And I will, of course, be back here next week for your book, Your Voice. I am your host, Robert A. Lane with Robert Lane Coaching. RobertLaneCoaching.com. 
go there for all the information about the Your Book, Your Voice audiobook coaching program and to book your call. And let's talk, all right? We are streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. Again, thank you so much for joining, and I'll be talking to you next week. Take care, my friends. This has been Your Book, Your Voice with host Robert A. Lane. Tune in each week for another powerful and informative episode of Your Book, Your Voice, Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave TV network.